This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping a foot on the whoop on the knicks. We keeping a foot on the whoop on the knicks. I love my nephew, man, and my niece. The fact that I'm hearing that my nephew is practicing basketball every day to, comp <laughs> to compete against me. <laughs> it's a thing that make you say. <laughs> it's a thing that make you say. <laughs> I told him, you're going to be playing against Michael Jordan on the basketball court. Get ready. So I can't wait later on this year to just demolish him, though. <laughs> I can't wait to seven zip shut up, shut him out, though. <laughs> But I was impressed when I heard Richie Rich 7-zip shut him out in the first game, which is what I expected. <laughs> and in the second game, he basically lost 10-9, to and then he won 10-7 to in the third game. It's a thing that make you say, hmm. <laughs> it's a thing that make you say, hmm. <laughs> did Richie Rich get worse, or did my nephew get better? Let me say it again. Did Richie Rich get worse? But did my nephew get better than my niece? Man, she's an animation artist. You know, I'm pushing her to greatness personification. She says she has no competitors, dog, in the water when it comes to swimming. I'm pushing her, boy. <laughs> hey, listen, take that passion that you got in swimming and correlate that thing into animation artist. I said, I told my niece, do you know that your uncle is the most competitive driven person? Well, guess what? We're going to get you right. We're going to get you right. We're going to get you passionate. Anyways, let me, let me get on to the damn video, man. <laughs> I figured I had to say that real quick because they motivated me. I just got off the phone with them. Dog. I'm, I'm so happy. I can't wait to see them, man. They, they got me so proud, man. Anyways, let's get on to the video. You see, look at the background, though. <laughs> this is what ESJ haters are saying now. It's a thing that make you say. <laughs> it's a thing that make you say. <laughs> so Al Heyman is protecting Earl the True Spence. How's he protecting Earl the True Spence? Like when he knows everything told you in the first video. That your Dennis Ugas is harder than the, woo, woo, the chief. Wah, wah, walking behind the damn bands. Listen, man. When it's all said and done. Earl the True Spence. Is fighting the hardest road. ESJ haters have no choice but to come up with La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, Yo no puedo caminar. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, Yo no puedo caminar. Cockroach lies, man. This is what they're coming at their truest and their most properest levels. They're coming out with cockroach lies. Don't fucking lie on Uru that you spend because you're an ESJ hater. Don't sit here and make it seem like Al Heyman. Why would Al Heyman want Earl the Truth Spence to not get free smoke? Your Dennis Ugas is two welterweight fights in one. Let me say it again. He's two welterweight fights in one. Terrence Buck Crawford is a far cry from undisputed or indisputed like your Dennis Ugas said. When we look at Terrence Buck Crawford, we see a barking walking behind the damn ants this dude ain't got no chance he's going to get done the fuck up he's going to get ethered murk and napalm when it's all said and done he's gonna get washed double washed and triple washed this is why Earl the True Spence when he fights the hardest fight at 147 of his boxing career in your Dennis Ugas he has to simplify things he can't do this skills for skill shit with your Dennis Ugas. He's going to make this fight harder than he needs to. When you're dealing with a motherfucker that got skills to pay the bills, you got to beat they fucking ass up. Let me say it again. When you're dealing with a motherfucker that got skills to pay the bills, you got to beat they ass up. You can't be sitting there and trying to go skills for skills. You got to beat the skills out of these motherfuckers. Because a motherfucker that got skills to pay the bills, they got to get the skills beaten out of their ass. When it's all said and done, that's what it boils down to. That's what it comes down to. Earl the True Spence just needs to tactically aggress, technically punch, and body snatching work the levying onslaught of the punishment style. He's going to have to iterate. He's going to have to ingratiate. And he's going to have to fully validate that full comprehensive stimulus package. Your Dennis Ugas is that much of a high degree, high pedigree, and high skillful fighter. 
He knows everything's not going to disrespect your Dennis Ugas. He's the only motherfucker that doesn't deserve disrespect. He's the only motherfucker that's going to bring the the best out of Earl Truth Spence from the 147 pound division because your Dennis Ugas knows how to fucking fight. He's a Cuban amateur pedigree fighter. When you're dealing with motherfuckers like this that have skills to pay the bills, you got to beat the fucking skills out of them. You got to make them submit. You got to make them bend the fucking knee, huh? Bend the fucking knee. That's why Earl the Truth Spence got all his affairs in order. From nutritionists, strength and conditioning. Look at Derrick James. The motherfucker look hella fine in fucking shape. When it's all said and done, Earl the Truth Spence is using the hardest road ever. Because he's a greatness personification artist. And what have we said about greatness personification? Greatness personification can only be hindered. The motherfucker can't be stopped. So when you're dealing with greatness personification and not greatness mimication, like the <laughs> the Chihuahua parking behind the damn fence and Terrence Buck Crawford, you're dealing with free smoke. You're dealing with free smoke junior. This is the hardest road to 147. This is undisputed. This ain't no bullshit and fuck shit like this barking chihuahua of Terrence Buck Crawford. Stop bullshitting. Stop fuck shitting. And tell the fucking truth. Let me say it again. Stop bullshitting. Stop fuck shitting. And tell the fucking truth. Earl the True Spence is going to beat the living skills out of your Dennis Ugas. This is the undisputed fight, or like your Dennis Uga said, this is the indisputed. I believe he's saying in a very humanistic Spanish way, this is indisputed. Because when it's all said and done, Terrence Buck Crawford has been what he's always fucking been a barking, barking behind the damn fence. That's the cohorted, that's the unadulterated, that's the cutthroat true telefashion. You see, I want you guys to look at the comment in the background. This right here reveals to you guys in his most visceral form of cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cutthroat true telefashion ESJ haters at their truest and their most properest levels. They hate greatness. They hate the true alpha energy because they are beta cock males. They are pure fucking beta supremes. They are mama's boy pure fucking beta supremes. They are beta males. Beta males hate greatness personification that alpha males exude. They hate the fact that they can't be the alpha. It can only be one motherfucking alpha. But beta male congregation, beta male theology, beta male simps, they're every fucking where you go. And look at the background. This is clear indication of a beta fucking cuck male, a pure fucking beta supreme, a mama's boy pure fucking beta supreme, and a beta male. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. The road to undisputed is very simple. Line them up. Man down. Strap season. Earl the Truth Spence going to beat up your Dennis Ugas. And he's going to wash Terrence Buck Crawford next. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.